months ago, the Center for Youth and RIT gave seven young people cameras and asked them to document their lives. Tonight, we saw the result. Jeff Rusak has the story new at 11. We put our lives on the line just to get out there and get something to eat just for the day. It's not a typical night at the Little Theater on the East End. While the movie is locally made, the producers are seven young men from inner city neighborhoods. Their goal, to capture in photographs and video what life looks like through their eyes. From the city skyscrapers to the laces on their shoes, each photo brought meaning. It's not everything in the hood, in the streets, is a bad thing. So I, we just gave our observation of what really go on. Bobby Smith graduated high school over the summer through the Center for Youth program, and he hopes to learn more about himself by seeing how people react to his work. Me being African American, like obviously I have a different perspective on life than the rest of the world. So I want to see if like my perspective is in line with other people's like on how the world is supposed to work, or even how how me as a black male is supposed to work in the community. It's pretty powerful stuff, you know, so many of our young men are talked about. People love to tell us about them, what they think, what they feel, why they're not doing as well. This is their opportunity to tell you in their own voices what life is like. Damian Howard is 21 and just received his high school diploma. He hopes a picture of his daughter will change the way people think about their lives. I wanted to shine and I wanted to show my daughter like it's never too late to get what you really want out of life and never give up on your hopes and dreams. This city isn't perfect, but a group of young Rochesterians took time to find the good. I watched the birth of my first child, which is my daughter. Where people so often associate the bad. Reporting in Rochester, Jeff Rusak, News 8. That documentary is called If Our Streets Could Talk. It was made with the help of funding from AT&T.